what's going on my people is now I had a subscriber he wanted to um get some tips on blindside backing what mirror should he use so I already made this video so I'm gonna um just play it and talk about it <clears throat> talk about on um, blindside backing because in local food service you're gonna be doing a lot of blindside backing up so let's play this video let's talk about some things in this video So you guys see that cone right here? That cone right there is um <clears throat> we're gonna use that cone for the setup. One of the most important thing for blindside backing is your setup, right? <clears throat> once you set up right, once you set up right to get ready to go into your turn, that is pretty much the most important thing. You can pretty much set up perfectly on your right side and you don't even have to worry about your left side trust me once you once you get really good at good at it you'll understand what i'm talking about so <clears throat> one advice i can give to you guys when you're trying to set up correctly make sure you can do as many pull-ups as you want to just get it right go into it right so let's take a look So I realized I had a bad setup, so I took a pull up to get it to get it right and let's get back into it. Let's go. Okay, let me pause for a second, all right? So, I wish I could rewind for a little bit, but. So, driver asked me, what mirror am I using to blindside backing up, right? So, the reason they call this a blindside, because at a certain point, it's going to be hard to use either mirror, right? But, at this particular point right here, you're in a day cab, you can utilize you can utilize looking out your back your back glass right there right and once your setup is right just like right there i got a good setup as soon as you turn perfectly get perfectly into your turn then you can start using your right mirror again and as soon as you straighten it up then you can use both mirrors let's um play this video see what i'm talking about See, right now I cannot use my right mirror because I can't see nothing. So I, I'm utilizing looking at my back glass or my back windshield, whatever you guys want to call it. See, because I lined up, I'm hitting it perfectly. I hit it perfectly because I lined up correctly, right? So now I just got to go straight back. Alright, you guys seen what happened there? I pulled up, right? Because once you line up correctly, you can do as much pull up as you want to straighten it out. Right? Blindside backing takes a lot of practices, take a lot of repetition, and it also takes for the new drivers, for anybody. I recommend getting out and looking as many times as you want to. Don't don't worry about who's standing there watching you. Get out and look. That's the best advice I can give you guys. So let's go ahead and finish this.
So right now, pretty much done. Just gonna um pull it up, just pull it up and um straight, straighten it out. And um that's pretty much it. You know what I mean? Blindside backing takes a lot of practice, guys, and it takes a lot of um just takes a lot of practice, takes a lot of repetition. Um a lot of practice. And um the advantage that local truckers have is that back back that back mirror, that back glass, whatever you want to call it, back windshield. That's the advantage we have um in blindside backing. Imagine driving an over the road sleeper truck the only thing you can rely on is your technique at that point so this answers the questions to um my subscribers that have been asking me about blindside backing um just take a lot of practice guys a lot of practice a lot of repetition and um you'll get it done don't worry about it keep on practicing get out and look you know what i mean so there we have it, guys.